heck out of shared channels at Orchestry, just internally. Uh, like yeah. my success team, I have a shared channel that's shared with the devs. So yeah. if a customer is having an issue or a question and I need dev help, they're there. It's not an extra additional team that they have to keep up with. It's just this one heavy hole. In this case, instead of being smaller, it's got bigger membership and they're there. We don't care about the rest of the stuff I'm talking about and the rest of the team, right? They're there yeah. for what they need. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Because a lot of people think, actually, with shared channels, a lot of people think that the the use case there is for external. So I can have a shared channel with you. So in my tenant, I can share a channel with you and it appears in your native, in your home tenant and you've got access to it. You don't have to switch tenants, all that sort of stuff mm -hmm. uh, like we used to be able to do. So that's a, that's the external side of things. But you've just touched on a really good use case for internal type of, of use for shared channels. Um, and I, I think a lot of people don't sort of realize the advantages or the potential of using shared channels internally as well. Um, do you use a lot of, uh, you know, internally at, at, at Orchestry, you're using a lot of those type of, uh, well, shared oh, channels yes. in those scenarios? Yeah. Yeah, we sure are. We, we don't have any turned on for external sharing just because yeah. There's a lot of trust that has to be in place between two yeah, organizations yeah. to do that, right? But uh, internally, I could probably name five share channels right now that I'm a part of um, just yeah. to keep keep the team sprawl low, right? Share a channel to the people that need to be part of just this topic of a team. Like, again, um, our director of sales is also in support because – things like that can impact what she's doing in her pipeline. And she needs to be made aware of things. She doesn't really need to be in all the other channels that we're talking about the ins and outs of, of our success strategies and things like that. So it helps reduce the notification fatigue that we can see in teams when everything's just wide open and you're in 50 different teams.